Tokyo Electric Power Company is set to replace plastic hoses that are in danger of leaking. A cracked hose brought cooling to a halt at one reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant on Sunday. TEPCO found water leaking from a large crack in a hose attached to a temporary pump, sending seawater into the number five reactor's cooling system. The operator says the hose split because it was bent at an acute angle and under pressure. To replace the hose, the cooling system was stopped for three and a half hours. A large number of plastic hoses are being used in the reactor's heat removal system. TEPCO is now searching for potential leaks and will make replacements. It adds none of the hoses that transfer highly radioactive water needs replacement because they are not bent at extreme angles. Do they have control of the situation at the site? No. It's still a ticking time bomb. Members of Japan's Nuclear Safety Commission say the government must do more before it lifts an evacuation advisory for areas near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. During a news conference on Monday, they were referring to comments made by the minister in charge of the nuclear disaster. The minister had said the government could lift the advisory for areas 20 to 30 kilometers from the plant by around July 17th. But the members say a safety assessment must first be carried out to fully understand the situation inside the damaged reactors. They say the government must also confirm that another hydrogen explosion will not occur. Residents in the evacuation advisory zone are required to remain indoors and must be prepared to evacuate in the event of an emergency. Some have already left for safer areas. The members say the evacuation advisory zone must be thoroughly monitored for radiation contamination before residents are allowed to return to their homes. Tokyo Electric Park Company has set July 17th as the date for completing the first stage of bringing the nuclear plant under control. By that time, the utility hopes to have cooled the reactors and have implemented measures to prevent a hydrogen explosion. Realize that after the big Sumatra tsunami, mm -hmm. uh, 90 days after, three months after that, there was a huge aftershock. If they have another aftershock and they're not in cold shutdown yet till next year, the accident could start all over again. Meanwhile, the volume of cooling water flowing to the plant's number one reactor fell on Monday, forcing workers to inject more water. A cooling system is in place at the number one, two, and three reactors and is injecting 3.7 tons of water per hour into the number one reactor. TEPCO says the reactor's water flow began to decrease gradually on Sunday night. By Monday morning, only about three tons of water was flowing into the reactors and setting off an alarm. Workers immediately injected twice the usual amount of water and managed to restore normal flow about 30 minutes after the alert. TEPCO says there was no change in temperature or pressure in the reactor. The utility says the water flow reduction may have been caused by clogging of hoses by debris. The firm says it is looking into how the failure occurred. It's like hanging by your fingernails. Yeah, it's stable, but you're hanging by your fingernails. Americans think this crisis is over, or that some even think that maybe it's solved or it's contained. It's, it's not. We're, what's happening right now? In the last two weeks, everything we knew about that accident has been turned upside down. We were told three partial meltdowns, don't worry about it. Now we know it was 100% core melt in all three reactors. Majority of nuclear plants in Japan have been halted since the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant's accident. But not all again are resuming the operations. A mayor in southwestern Japan has approved the resumption of two reactors at a local nuclear power plant. The Kenkai plant in Saga Prefecture is the first to be given the official go-ahead by a municipality after the March disaster. The mayor of Genkai Town gave the green light on Monday to the president of the plant's operator, Kyushu Electric. Two reactors at the plant have been idle since routine checks up, checkups were completed in April. I'm convinced that the safety of the Genkai plant has been secured. The operator's first priority is to create an environment where human errors are eliminated. We'll continue to do our best to gain understanding about the safety of nuclear power generation and emergency safety measures. The Gankai plant is one of 35 reactors or two-thirds of national total that remain offline due to the effects of the March disaster or regular inspections. Attention has now shifted to whether the governor of Saga Prefecture will do the same, despite local residents' concerns about its safety.
But the mayor of Karatsu City next to Genkai Town expressed caution about the restart. People in Karatsu City are full of anxiety. I have been cautious about nuclear power plants and remain skeptical about their safety. Now we know it was comparable to the radiation at Chernobyl. And as far as evacuation, yeah, 12 miles, that's it. You don't have to evacuate beyond 12 miles. Now they find hot spots, four hot spots outside the evacuation zone. 34,000 school children now have radiation badges when they go to school. Kindergartners with radiation badges. Down to four badges. years of age. Can you imagine that? Kindergarten kids with radiation badges 